Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are back, and with this one, we have a surprise for you. So there's a release that is a uh, that is available, and this is a new update for the beta version of RAS system. So the the beta version is six point zero point five, and we can try and uh, see what to expect. So there are a few things that are going to be coming up and uh, also some few other things that have already come up but there's a major update that we we're waiting for most almost everybody that is using RAS system or php RAD is waiting for and that is what we are about to look at right now and i'm also going to talk about the new release for the software that's uh, that is what i'm actually testing right now i really think it's amazing yeah, because it kind of feel like uh, it kind of breaks the monotony of using uh, for some time so as you can see right now we are we are currently at 5.1.4 as a stable one and also there's a beta which is 5.0.5 and this beta version is what i'm actually using right now it's pretty good they release prime view and uh, as a framework that you can select and also quasar as a framework you can select so you can really juggle between quasar and prime view so i'm just going to be giving some uh, suggestions as we go on with the video so there's something that I'm really excited about, and this is this Flutterlad. So we are expecting Flutterlad to come out soon, as they have said here, coming soon, which I think is going to be a very, very, very big upgrade to the software. All right, uh, moving on. So let's talk about the new release. So the new release right now, I'm, a, I'm using Prime View, and Prime View is basically uh, brings up some pretty good uh, options to, to the table. Because currently everything is just the same, only that we're using a new theme. And this new theme, if you have been using PHP at 2.7.3, uh, comes up with uh, some pretty cool, aw uh, awesome themes, which is uh, these themes available here. So personally, I prefer using Tailwind Light. It's pretty beautiful. And yeah, so that's it. So my my color selection for the cards, I, I go for Surface 100. It's pretty really good. And for the header, I prefer to have shadow none, so that my uh, my code doesn't have a header. So as you can see on top here, I don't really have that shadow on the header. So if you want the, your page to look like this, you then you put the shadow none class on the elevated header elevation. So that's it. Now let's look at uh, how everything is working. So there's some few uh, additional features that have come up, which is something like this. So when you want to go to a page. And this page is a select. There's also now another option that has been added, which is the custom endpoint. Now the custom endpoint, when you come here, it selects from all your available endpoints that you have created. So you can actually fetch data from an API. Pretty good. So if you have an API that lists all the countries, then you can create an endpoint for it, and then pull from that endpoint, and you're going to have a name for all the available countries. So that's pretty cool stuff, if you ask me. All right, so okay, so that's it. Now, for your custom endpoints, you can write them here. So as you can see, I have my endpoint here. So if I come here and create a new endpoint and call it a uh, test endpoint, and maybe I have this kind of data here, and then I go to the select drop down here and go to the custom endpoint, I can actually select from that endpoint I just created here. So it doesn't matter what is in your endpoint, as long as the endpoint is returning some object or basically array that's containing some data, you're good to go, man. All right, let's go ahead. So is there anything else that has been added? Uh, that's it. But now we also have another feature that has come up in the custom page JS. So as you can see here, you can now do imports directly from your code. So you can do page imports here. You can import imported components. You can do page data, computed methods, all this stuff you can write it here. And now there's something different that has changed. We are now using Vue.js 3 instead of the Vue.js 2 that is in Quasar. So if you have been doing Vue.js 2, some things are going to be different when you come to Vue. Uh, to view prime so now view prime is using vue.js so there's a little bit uh, different uh, things that have been added and of which i feel like they are good things so yeah only that some things are going to be changed uh, basically because how we used to, to use some variables has changed also 
Oh, you're just going to learn it as you move on. But Vue.js really is amazing. You should also try. All right, moving on. So here's a project I've been working on. So I've been using this for, as a control project so that we can do some bug testing. And this is where we are going to be uploading tutorials every day. So all those tutorials we make here on YouTube, you can also find them when you go uh, when you go online. Or basically, if you want to uh, do written tutorials in case you want to copy paste the code, we'll be uploading these tutorials here. Also, the course is coming soon, but this tutorial is basically just going to be free. If you feel like you need to uh, sponsor the project, you can also sponsor the site. It's just going to add a button somewhere here. So yeah, the course also will be coming soon here, but the current course is somewhere else. I'll share the link in the description. And yeah, so let's see how this one works. So there's some pretty cool features that have been added. So the first one, we can just click here and we go to the tutorials page here. So this is where you can get all your projects and then you can filter with the category. You can filter with Node-RAD here. You can filter with Vue-RAD here. So there are two. So if you filter with something that we have not done, you get that. And you have these categories here. When you click on it, it opens this uh, beautiful looking drawer here, which is going to be having uh, these tutorials here and also the video tutorials. So I haven't really worked on how this one uh, aligns, but I'll be working on it. You can also come here and do uh, something else. So we can come here and uh, see view light here. And you can get all these data looking uh, pretty good here. Now you can also go back and at the bottom, you, we have now this amazing uh, looking uh, controls, basically this uh, scroller. So moving on, we have the place where you'll be uploading our projects. You can try and see how our project looks like. If you come here, you should get all the project description, all that stuff. Then you can go back and try and see how our our tutorials look like. So if I click on this, it will basically open up the page that we want to work with. Here we have the tags here, we have the sponsors. You can become one if you want. <laughs> All right. And then just scroll down at the bottom here. You'll also find uh, the tutorials here. So you can also view the YouTube tutorials from this page. Pretty amazing. And yeah, so it's still a work in progress and so far I haven't seen so major bugs. Only thing that it doesn't do is not backward compatible with 5.1.6 because now this one will be used in Vue.js 1. So you cannot use, uh, sorry, Vue.js 3. So you cannot use, uh, basically you cannot import a project you have done in the previous versions and put it here and work. So you have to start a new project here. but. Personally, I feel this is amazing. The only thing it cannot do, you cannot compare to desktop or mobile app, but you can do with other external softwares. Only that in RAD now with the Prime View, you cannot compile it here. So in Quasar, you can compile to desktop, iOS, mobile, Android, basically, and uh, also a PWA or SPA. But this one is strictly just SPS, just like using PHPR Classic, only that this is pretty much cooler. So yeah, I feel like that is it. And also another feature that was added that I haven't looked at is this option here where you can uh, enable two-factor authentication. If you enable it, you can either get SMSs with the OTP. Uh, yeah, I think they have removed the OTP SMS. I don't know why. But you can get the OTP via email, OTP duration. You can set how many, how long you want it to last. And yeah, pretty good stuff. So that is it, guys. If you have any questions about it, leave it in the comment and uh, see you in the next video.